Well, there we have it then. I don't think I've been to a ground where they're playing so negatively. A clash of Premier League giants. Lancashire takes on Tyne and Weir. Manchester United takes on Newcastle as two teams with a lot of history go head to head in a historic competition. Today will be atmospheric, loud, and certainly a fantastic game to watch. But can Newcastle get revenge on Man United from the final last year and move on to the quarterfinals? Yes, today is massive, as Manchester United take on Newcastle United in the round of 16 of the Carabao Cup. Going into this game as a neutral, I'm absolutely buzzing. Not only is it going to be a mental atmosphere with Newcastle selling out 7,000 tickets in a matter of hours and Man United selling every ticket in the ground, but the big thing is seeing players on that pitch that I've grown up watching, Casemiro, Marcus Rashford, Bruno Fernandes, then seeing players quality like Kieran Trippier, Bruno Guimaraes, Joe Linton, Nick Pope. It's just going to be a fantastic day. And let's not forget that these two teams played each other in the final last season. So Newcastle will be going there, hoping for revenge and moving on to the semi-finals. Today, we're at the biggest stadium in the Premier League, Old Trafford, home of Man United. I'm absolutely buzzing for it. And I'm going with my mother. Now, my mother does a lot for me. She's currently the cameraman. You know, I love spending time with her. I am really buzzing to go today. She's feeling a little bit down. So hopefully a good result, maybe a 4-4 draw, Man United win on penalties or something like that will do us all very well. I'll see you when we get down to Old Trafford. I'll take you along for the journey. It's about three hours from our house. I'm really, really buzzing for it. Up them Tigers, up Man United and up the Magpies. I've forgotten United's nickname. Old Trafford, here we come. God, it's generally unlocked as I've done that. Thank you, Mother. There we go. Well, this ain't a great start, is it, Mother? <laughs> Dear. Right then, Mother, now we're in traffic. Who was the player you're most looking forward to seeing today? I'm seeing Jesse Lingard's left. I suppose it'll be Marcus Rashford. How about Maguire? City legend. Yeah. City legend. No, I'm looking forward to seeing Bruno Fernandes and Casemiro. I mean, they're just legends, aren't they? Grandma, what's your score predictions? 2-1 to Manchester United. Fantastic. Who's scoring? I wouldn't know. Rashford. <laughs> Hello, Grandad, what's your score prediction? Newcastle to win 2-0. <laughs> oh, man, egg, fair enough. I'll tell you something, York's a very picturesque place. It's lovely. I want to live here when I'm older. We've arrived at York Station. <laughs> we set off, what time did we set off? About 2 o'clock, Mum. And it's now 4, and it's a 20-minute drive. It's genuinely mad, the traffic. Welcome to York. I think we've got... How long have we got? 15 minutes. Let's get a Starbucks. <laughs> proper football hooligan drink. Starbucks acquired. Still do frappuccinos after all these years. Here it is. There we go. Off we pop. What are going on it is to get to the stadium. Car to train to tram. But we should have plenty of time. From what was three hours before kickoff to an hour and a half, I'm sure we'll be all right. We've arrived. We've been off the tram two minutes. We've already seen six geezers selling scarves. Mental. This is mad. I don't think I've been to Old Trafford in the dark for about eight, nine years. So to see it again is pretty cool. Food. Now, from what I can remember, that fish and chip stand is the best place to go for food at Old Trafford, and I'm buzzing for it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, it's still fantastic after all of these years. Mother, how is yours? Fish and chips is lovely. Fantastic. I mean, wow. Stood in front of the biggest stadium in the Premier League. It's going to be sold out. I'm, I'm just buzzing. Genuinely. Right, here we go. Have I done it upside down? What have I done? Oh, are oh, we done? We done. There's your phone. <laughs> here we go. Well then. This is the dream, walking up the steps, seeing the pitch for the first time. Wow. <laughs> Mint. There's the former United man on loan last season. Wow. 
partially on loan. He was there for about three, four months. Not the greatest reception, I'll tell you that. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hello and welcome at the most historic, the largest and the most beautiful stadium in the Premier League, Old Trafford, home of Manchester United. Now, before we get into the actual game, the stadium, we have to talk about the lineup. And one man is starting, one ex City player, Harry Maguire, starts on Man United. You may be thinking, people come here to see Casemiro, Bruno Fernandes, Bruno Guimarães, some of the best players in the world, but no, I'm here to see the captain, Harry Maguire. Genuinely, just so special to see a whole City player play on the biggest stage in the world, winning competitions and just living his dream. That's great to see and hopefully we can see him back at Hull City one day. I mean, it's a possibility. We get promoted. I think we have to go and sign him. Now, in terms of the stadium, I mean, it's what, 80,000 capacity? I mean, I'm looking up. How some of the people in the top row even see the pitch, it's just genuinely mental, but it is beautiful. I've only come across one problem and in this channel, I like to stay positive, but the leg room is atrocious. I mean, I'm a fat guy. There's no, there's no denying it. I'm tall as well, so that doesn't help, but I can't even fit what I mean, knees in my leg room. It's genuinely atrocious, but hopefully with us being in safe standing, everyone around us will be standing and there's no point, you know, arguing and barging about the leg room. Only at half time. Now we're joined with Mother. I'm too scared to go and ask a random person for a score prediction. So Mother, how are you? Good, <laughs> thanks. Fantastic. Now, we'll be honest, neither of us know a lot about the two teams this season. I know Man United are in a bit of dip of form. Newcastle are in the Champions League. They're probably focusing on that. We're in the League Cup. What's your score predictions, Mother? Uta. I don't know. As long as it isn't a draw and we've got to save the penalties and we'll turn back. Yeah, that would be a yeah. bit of a nightmare. I'm going to go... I feel like sitting the home end, you have to back Man United to win, but I genuinely think Newcastle's going to win 2-0. And that's not me trying to be pessimistic, but they've just got 7,000 allocation. They've sold the top tier and the bottom tier, which is most... better than most Premier League clubs. And I just feel with the back in and the players I've got, they're going to win. I mean, I can't even... Yeah, no, I, I can't get one knee in. This is appalling. I find it mad some of the players on the pitch. I don't know, there's no sign of Bruno Guimaraes though. A bit upset too. Yeah. Yeah. What a player. 15 minutes till kick-off. It's near enough sold out already. The atmosphere is just going to be mental. Newcastle fans are some of the best fans in England. There's no doubt about it. I've genuinely got goosebumps. I've genuinely never seen something so mental. These Newcastle fans are incredible. I don't even think my camera will zoom in that far, but imagine sitting there. Oh dear. Well, there we have it then. Manchester United take on Newcastle United in the round of 16 of the Carabao Cup. A full home atmosphere. A full away end. This is genuinely something I've never seen before. I've got goosebumps. This is mint. Not an empty seat in the house. And it will be Anthony Martial to take kickoff. I'm glad I'm watching a Premier League game so I know most of the players. I'm used to other neutral games. How are we going? Right off with Bob. Maguire. Mother, what are you thinking of the atmosphere? Brilliant. I've never seen out like it before. Oh. I'll tell you something, it's hostile in here. But rightly so, Newcastle had all the opportunities, all the chances, all the corners. United are like Old City last season playing it around the back. It's a bit shocking. And here we have it, Stewart FC comes onto the pitch. Looking very deadly in attack. Oh no! I don't think I've been to a ground where they're playing so negatively. I'll tell you something, that Newcastle fan base. Maybe up there with the likes of Milan, 
PSG Barcelona, it's genuinely incredible. It's four goals we've gone seen. Oh my dear. Yeah, we're, we're 30 minutes in and the guys run on the pitch to torment the Newcastle players. Just ruined yourself a ticket. And to be able to come here ever again. Newcastle have been chanting sacks in the morning for the last five minutes. Two United players for me have put in a lot of effort, and that's Hannibal Medgley and Garnacho, but the rest of them, I'm not going to say they're playing bad, but they need to up the tempo. But this game's just going to run away from them. Newcastle have been in class, in my opinion. The fans, the players, you know, they're playing the second team. Bruno Guimaraes is not on the pitch. He needs Kieran Trippier. And yet they're outclassing a Man United side that are pushing for the title. It's a strange one, really. Oh, oh. 45 minutes in, five minutes of added time. United don't get a goal in this five minutes. I think it's going to be a very hard game to get back into the second half. You can hear the rumble and the grumble from the home fans. It's probably deserved. I feel very bad for them. There's plays for United just doing unnecessary tricks. Trying to play the ball around in a nice manner, but we just need to go and get a shot on target and see what happens. Half time, Buzek around Old Trafford. It's going to be a long second half for these United lads. I always feel bad for the mascots. They're just all happy, chappy, giving hugs, high fives. When your team's just been battered in the first half, it's so sad. Mother, what are you thinking of the performance so far? I mean, I haven't seen many Premier League games as I'm, I'm more of a championship blogger, Teams Old City, but from what I have seen, Newcastle fans, incredible. I mean, to sell out 7,000 tickets on a Wednesday in a Carabao Cup is genuinely magnificent. And to be up singing a full first half, and I'm, I presume it'll be the full game, is just something they should be proud of. I mean, the West of so maybe 200 metres from him, and my age jumps are going, it's incredible. In terms of the second half, I think United have to make substitutions if they want any chance of making a comeback. And if Newcastle keep playing as they are, this game could be 4 or 5 nil. It could be a dismantling. I'm going to go get myself a drink in the concourse. I don't think there's a lot more you need to say. I'm incredibly nervous vlogging here. It's my first time vlogging at Old Trafford. I'm trying to keep myself quiet and not being a nuisance to others. And the lads are out for the second half, and there's two substitutions for United. I can't believe it, they took off. They're taking off Casemiro. I genuinely think him and Annabelle were two best players in terms of stringing passes a lot. He was sort of their lifeline at the moment. Oh, they're not with Pop. chances you have to bury it's gonna take a lot a lot of effort for Man United to get back into this game because Newcastle are sitting deep they're happy with the result as it is and unless United put something out they're crashing out of this tournament yes. oh, they're giving it all the way up there go on oh tell you something, that stand over there must have done 2,000 calories just by jumping up and down. Every time we have an opportunity to stand up, about three or four seconds, they sit right back down again. It's quite sad to see, really. A goal is crucial now. The hostility here is genuinely crazy. Oh, 
that's game over. Stay in neutral. I cheered the horror men on because we're in the horror men, but these Newcastle fans are genuinely incredible. I mean, having 7,000 people jump up and down, singing for 90 minutes straight, and at the loudest that Newcastle are doing it, it's genuinely bucket list stuff. It genuinely is. My dream is to go to St James Park and see a game, but you know, tickets are a bit hard to come by, but this is just, you know, another level. Shoot! Have United have a shot on target yet? They haven't, no. The fact Bruno Guimaraes has just come on, 3-0 up, is mental. This could go to 5 or 6. He is one of the best players in the league by far. Bruno Fernandes. Rashford comes on, Hoyland comes on, Bruno Fernandes comes on. Three main players that United need on the pitch. Never seen Hoyland play, so I'm excited to see what he brings. Seventieth minute. People starting to leave. No surprise there, but that's gutting to see. Thousands of empty seats dotted about now. Can I come back? Still be doing, Mum? Well, fair play to Newcastle. They've been incredible. To get me suit measure. Empty seats galore now. Our corner. Yep. These fans were not happy at Anthony. Play up. When did he get on pitch? He's class. Seen United string five passes together since the first half. It's been that poor. But all credit to Newcastle. That's good team. Full bottle of Diet Coke on the floor. I love a Diet Coke. So I can enjoy my fans without worrying about missing my train. Because there won't be a penalty shootout after this, I can tell you that. We've got the ball. We've got the ball. We've lost the ball. Oh, go on, Rashford. I tried. I'm genuinely in awe of these fans. Newcastle fans take a bow. Just incredible. 74,000 attendance is fantastic. It's five times what Hull get. Feel bad for these fans. They deserve more. They're thinking thing, they're always going to be supporting the Reds, and that's what you like to see. Hopefully, we get Champions League glory. Well, by that, I mean get into the Champions League. I know there's something changes soon. 90th minute, four minutes added on. Uh, the stadium's here enough empty. It's a shame, really. I don't know how many times I've said it, but Newcastle fans have genuinely blown my mind how good they are. It's just not United today. Man United, that is. Say Maguire's played all right, hasn't he, Mum? He's hardly touched the ball, he's, he's done all right. Lee Wanda Saka should start for United in the league. When he's come on, he's looked lively, made some fantastic challenges. It's a shame, really. I remember watching his first couple of games for United. He, you know, he looked like the best right back in the league. I don't know what's happened, but he should be starting from what I've seen. Come <laughs> on, fella. Man United nil. Newcastle United three. And them are some fans. I'll see when we get home. You know, fair play to them. Genuinely incredible. Well, 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 it's about half past two in the morning, but we've just got back from Old Trafford. Unfortunately, it wasn't the result that United, Man United were looking for, but a fantastic result for Newcastle United with some incredible goals, some of the best fans I've ever seen. I would just like to say this vlog was a little bit different for me. I mean... And this is not defining Man United fans or Man United as a club, but the people I was around, I think it was just maybe the area, 
weren't too keen on me sticking my phone out for half the game. I mean, fair enough, understandable, but, you know, I could feel people looking at me, turning around, saying, what's he doing? And just feeling, I just felt a little bit uncomfortable doing what I usually do. But, you know, fair enough. I enjoyed it still. I just wish I could have gone a little bit more in depth and not, you know, take loads of takes because I was really nervous. Now, I'd just like to say something. At the end of the game, every single player, bar one Man United player, had their heads down, didn't acknowledge any single fans and walked straight down the tunnel. But Mason Mount acknowledged every single stand, clapped every single Man United supporter. And, you know, there's people travelling thousands of miles and travelling countries to see Man United play. And, yeah, fair enough, you've lost 3-0. But the least you could do is get your head up and clap the fans that have paid their money to go watch you and cheered you on for the full 90. I love that from Mason Mount. It's one player you want at your team who loves the fans, will do things for the fans no matter what. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, subscribe and turn on notifications. It would genuinely mean absolutely everything. It's been a true pleasure taking you to Old Trafford to watch Manchester United take on Newcastle in the Carabao Cup. The next video will be West Bromwich Albion away, a game I'm very nervous for because we never tend to win against West Brom. But hopefully Hull City on a very decent run can go and get three points. Up them Tigers, up the Man United and up the Newcastle as well.